Hi, my name is James Marslick. I'm the founder and chief investment officer for the Red Dot Income Fund. Welcome to our real estate fund investor presentation. This fund is the capital arm of a veteran-owned real estate company called Operation Red Dot, founded in early 2016. Over the next 20 minutes, I want to take you on a journey. We're going to explore a social dilemma that this fund can eliminate and how we'll get better risk-adjusted returns in the process. I hope something new is revealed to you in this presentation. My intent is to leave you feeling informed and inspired. Before we really begin though, you should know the main idea. We are sparking and spearheading a military housing revolution and I want your help. I want to share a true story with you. Something that will take you behind the curtain of why I'm so passionate about my work. Meet the hero of our story, Matt Carlson. Matt is a sergeant in the United States Army, stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. His family includes his wife, Julie, two boys, Nick and Will, and their chief security officer, Max, their golden retriever. Matt has just been given a relocation notice to a new duty station across the country. A moving company will be sent to their house in North Carolina to collect the majority of their household goods. With the leftover essentials packed in their vehicle, the Carlsons wave goodbye to their former home and fasten all seatbelts for the long four-day road trip. Their destination? a hotel room on Joint Base lewis mccord in Washington State, where they'll stay until permanent housing is secured. The Carlsons arrive to Washington exhausted. They check into the temporary living quarters and unpack their essentials. A small kitchenette, two queen beds, and a bathroom makes up the total of their tiny living space. The next morning, Matt ventures to the housing office on base, where he's promptly told that on-base housing won't be available for at least 90 to 120 days if not longer. Matt is stunned. He counted on housing for his family. This was plan A all along. But what Matt doesn't know is he has officially come face to face with the villain of our story, the monstrous housing dilemma. Frustrated that on-base housing isn't available anytime soon, he returns back to the hotel to discuss the situation with his wife, Julie. They can't live in this hotel room forever. This creates yet another problem. Without a physical address, they can't register their kids for school. Plus, their household goods from North Carolina will have to be held at a storage facility nearby until they have permanent housing. Matt, his wife, kids, and dog will all be cooped up in extremely tight quarters for much longer than they thought. The tensions are amplified. Financial stress is also elevated. Hotel rates and eating out are expensive. On top of all of this, his housing allowance hasn't been activated yet. Therefore, they're paying for all of this out of pocket. <clears throat> Time to move to plan B, searching for off-base rental housing. They first turn to Zillow, Craigslist, and Facebook groups. It's immediately clear that there's very little rental inventory. What is available doesn't look that nice, but at this point, they have to take what they can get. They submit applications on rental properties, hoping something will work out soon. Out of 10 emails sent in one day, four of them were online scams trying to get their information and money. Three never responded, and the other three had already been rented. It seems every time they turn around, another opportunity doesn't pan out. They are now realizing they just landed in the middle of a supply and demand war. The monstrous housing dilemma is wreaking its havoc for our hero and his family. Feeling pressured by the lack of rental options, they turn to plan C and look into purchasing a home with Matt's VA loan. They don't feel ready to buy, don't know the area well, and they're also concerned about the large responsibility of home ownership. But still, they research mortgage lenders, submit an application, and start house hunting with a real estate agent. They tour several homes in their price point and write what they feel are competitive offers on every single one. Out of all five offers, they are passed over. Their agent confirms their fears, 
that the market is incredibly hot and getting offers accepted is challenging and competitive. The villain seems to be winning this battle too. Adding more pressure to Matt's plate, our hero must meet his military responsibilities and report to his unit for in-processing and training. He's now forced to balance daily duties with the army while also helping his wife secure housing for their family. They've logged 60 days in the hotel. Morale is low. On-base housing still has no properties available. The rental market continues to be challenging with more scams every day. Buying also yields no results as the ultra-competitive bidding wars are just too much to win alone. Late one night, Matt and Julie find themselves frustrated and dog-tired by this ongoing housing nightmare. They say to each other, there has to be a better way to find a place to live. Why isn't there a housing program just for us? How nice that would be. Yes, the monstrous housing dilemma has taken yet another victim and his family hostage. Our service members deal with an inefficient system that makes finding housing a battle. It's exhausting. I don't just know it's exhausting from hearing all these stories though. I lived it myself during my own active duty service. It was an absolute nightmare then, just as it is now. The core problem we're discussing here is how the US military moves service members and their families. This is called a PCS, or Permanent Change in Station, which happens every three to four years on average. Military housing systems are only half the problem though. The markets themselves present issues that make it near impossible for soldiers to put a permanent roof over their head. Here are three stats I want you to be thinking about as we dive deeper into this conversation. On average, only 15% of military families can live in on-base housing. 70% of all service members wait 60 days or more for any kind of housing. And the wait time for on-base housing is typically 90 to 120 days. What do these stats tell me? They tell me that our military needs a proactive option to get housing ahead of their move. This hedge fund is the answer to this problem and creates a nationwide lease option program designed just for our military. Category one includes families who are currently on a relocation notice to a new duty station or PCS. If the average service member only stays at a given base for approximately three years, then at any given time, there are over 2,000 service member families currently executing a move to a new duty station. Our primary market, Joint Base Lewis McCord, for example, shows an average of 250 families incoming to the base each month. Category two includes families that already live in on-base housing but want to move off base. The truth is, the vast majority will tell you that on-base housing is terrible, and I would agree with them. After their first year of living on base, many military families will attempt to move off base. Category three includes families that already have permanent housing but need to upsize or downsize. There's one connecting thread in military families. They are always growing and changing. These families either currently live on base or rent off base. They are looking for a housing opportunity that better suits their needs. As a landlord, imagine how great it would be if all of your tenants had guaranteed income and a guaranteed housing allowance. The government gives military service members a housing stipend during the entirety of their career. A lot of people have never heard of it. It's called BAH, or Basic Allowance for Housing. Stipends range between $1,500 to $2,900 a month. How much they get depends on their zip code, rank, and number of dependents. But this next part is really important. The government pays us rent directly bypassing the service member. This guarantees the money will be wired on the first of each month, keeping cash flow consistent and 
netting us a much better total risk adjusted return. One commonality in the mindset of military families coming to a new base, they want to understand the area before they make a commitment to buy. They desire a deeper understanding of the quality of schools, distance to work, shopping and entertainment. It can be overwhelming when you're first arriving to a new area. For this reason, most service members choose to rent before they decide to purchase. The VA loan sector has been busy. In 2020, the Department of Veterans Affairs released data to show that they had guaranteed $375 trillion in total loan amounts. That represents 1,246,815 homes that were purchased by service members just in 2020. This tells me that our tenants will want to use their VA loan to buy the house they live in. Rates are competitive, and our VA loan officers are all veterans as well. Our systems include education, one-hour approvals, and simulation software to estimate payments. We put service members on a clear path to home ownership through this program. Military bases shape local economy. For example, restaurants, department, and furniture stores all benefit from military members stationed in that area. This creates an almost utopic environment. Even during an economic downturn, military pay is guaranteed, and thus spending stays more consistent. This reduces total risk and partially insulates the fund from external economic factors. The specific markets we operate in are strategically selected. We examine the type of divisions on base, the volume of families rotating through, and the general economy around the base. In addition to other research, we review an annual government-funded study which shows how military bases impact the economy in their communities. We analyze this granular data to identify which bases to serve. This hedge fund is a culmination of dedicating over four years learning and understanding the military housing wants and needs. Although this fund will give us new capabilities, this isn't an untested idea. Our beginning in real estate was in parallel with a company called Home Partners of America. They're a lease option program open to the public. What was great in theory turned out to be a poorly executed plan. They made it difficult to solve this housing problem by setting a high barrier to entry, among many other factors. Their poor processes and lack of proper execution resulted in hundreds, if not thousands, of one-star reviews from consumers. Systemic problems were uncovered at every level as I became a top producer in their program. As a firm believer in lean principles, my biggest frustration is their complete indifference to improving their product or customer service. I went from questioning if I should be putting people into this program to I can't condone their broken processes anymore. There had to be something better. But I looked. Nothing exists that solves this problem until now. That is what led me to creating this fund. Having served in combat, I've personally experienced the impact force multipliers have on the battlefield. The edge it can give you over your opposition is astounding. We use all three categories of force multipliers, human, environmental, and organizational. Force multipliers are simply defined as tools that help amplify your effort in producing more output. Like in war, these can be deployed into business and investment environments. These strategic advantages make it dramatically harder for our competition to fight. 
I believe in the results I've achieved in combat, business, and investing using these strategies. The following sections include summaries of force multipliers specifically in use for this fund. Craigslist, Zillow, and Facebook groups are common destinations for families searching for rental homes. Yet, there's still one lead source that far outperforms all the rest, and it's one you might not have heard of before. AHRN.com stands for the Automated Housing Referral Network. It's hands down the most popular place for military to find housing. We discovered they had families asking them for referrals to someone who could help secure a place to live. We found 90% of these users were in the process of transferring to one of the bases we serve. And 70% of the users were specifically looking for a rental home. So in 2019, we struck a deal with HRN to be their exclusive referral for all the bases we serve. We got over 1,250 leads in 2019 and over 1,400 in 2020. These aren't just hot leads though. They're the exact demographic we're after. Once we connect these leads with this program, fireworks. We are in the business of constructing housing solutions for our brothers and sisters, not just clients. Every single person at Red Dot wore the uniform and honorably served this country. It's a connection that less than 1% of the U.S. population can claim, and we've got it. We have a deeper, richer connection with those that we serve. Military bases offer us pre-built-in scalability. The potential for growth and development of new markets is very clearly defined. Red Dot's blueprint can be executed in any military market we wish to enter. Our blueprint includes vertically integrated businesses, scalable strategic partners, and this specialized program. The demand for this unique program will always be a must. Due to military rotations, the fund becomes more powerful as we enter new markets. When we're entrenched in all major markets, we could be handling service member family housing regardless of what market they relocate to. We've conducted forensic level research into our competitors. We know what keywords they're tracking online, what their ad spends are, and the infrastructure they run their systems and marketing on. We ultimately conclude that no one is utilizing guerrilla marketing tactics like we are. We use a mix of artificial intelligence, podcasts, video content, and technical experts to direct online traffic exactly where we want it to go. We own hundreds of unique websites, dozens of Facebook housing groups, and we have flyers in the base housing offices too. Our target audience may see one of our wrapped moving trucks on the freeway a targeted Facebook ad, or a house listing on Craigslist. No matter what they see, it's all designed to engage and drive our demographic right into our application for approval. One last thing before we move on to the next section. This map briefly shows what the future holds for our growth as a fund. The green dots show current markets. The orange dots show upcoming strategic locations. Yes. This fund is the key to solving a housing problem for our military. But I believe we're here to solve a problem for you, too. Investors are having to deal with 0% or even negative returns in this market. It's becoming harder and harder to find good yield. 
There is a shortage of income replacement vehicles and fewer options for risk-averse investors. Also noteworthy, finding investments that are friendly with self-directed 401ks and IRAs isn't easy either. We've structured this fund to meet all of those needs. I believe that you can benefit from investing in our military service members. Long-term contract and employment plus guaranteed housing allowances give this fund a much better total risk adjusted return. I offer direct access into the military brotherhood and the culture surrounding it. By combining your investment with the resources and infrastructure of Operation Red Dot, this fund offers a turnkey investment opportunity. Although we think this fund will be appealing to single family offices, funds of funds, and charity endowments, this vehicle is a great solution for retired or semi-retired accredited individuals who simply just want to bolster their income. By investing in the Red Dot Income Fund, you are joining an elite group that uses combat theory, psychological warfare, and guerrilla marketing tactics. It takes passion, talent, and capital to build great ideas. I strongly believe that we're bringing the first two in spades, in addition to our own capital. But in order for this to really work, I need your help. The options below note the two ways that you can enter this fund, as a debt investor or equity investor. Debt investors lending money to the fund will be issued notes and become note holders. This secured interest will be in senior position with some exceptions, which will be explained in greater detail in another video. Note holders will be issued notes at interest rates depending on the investment amount and maturity of the note. The fund has multiple tiers of rates depending on the amount of money lent by the note holder and the duration of the maturity date. Interest to note holders is paid monthly. Equity investors purchasing ownership shares in the fund will be issued membership units and become members. Subject to the performance of the fund and after paying the management fee to the manager, and interest to the note holders, members will receive a preferred return of 8% paid monthly. Quarterly, members will also share in any excess distributable cash or EDC prorated to their respective ownership interest. Based on comprehensive financial modeling performed by the manager, the projected overall return to members is estimated between 10 and 13%. However, important to note, these returns are not guaranteed. Here are the five main takeaways from this presentation. Our tenants get guaranteed pay and a guaranteed housing allowance. This fund will entrench itself as the household name in military housing. We have a battle-tested arsenal of competitive advantages and force multipliers. We are all military veterans and bring a direct connection to the military brotherhood to the fund. Last and most important, we are sparking and spearheading a military housing revolution. And I want your help. In terms of us applying combat theory to real estate, this fund represents us suiting up for war. Four years of training and preparation and over 65 million in sales has brought us to this very point. Now, we have a significant advantage and it's time to go on the offensive. But the fact is, we can't win this war alone. Combat is a team effort. Your role in this mission is critical. I want and need you on our side. It's your support and investment that will give us the tools we need to win. So saying this is a call to action doesn't really do it justice. This, this is a call to arms. I want you to help us revolutionize military housing and entrench this fund as a household name on every major military installation around the US. With your help, we can accomplish this mission. 
I have a vision for how the military will use this program to make their living situations a hundred times better. Remember the story about the Carlsons moving across the country? Let's go back to the beginning of their story. What if, instead, their story went like this? Matt has just been given a relocation notice to a new duty station across the country. They are headed to Joint Base lewis McCord in Washington State, except this time, he calls in air support. He heard that Red Dot can make his search for housing way easier. Instead of waiting to get to Washington only to meet the housing dilemma villain, a strategic plan is developed. This plan puts our hero on offense. Matt and his family get approved right away, and they tour homes virtually from North Carolina. Before they even depart on their journey, Red Dot secures a home for them. Do you know what this means? They now have a permanent address to call home. That means no hotel stay, no waiting to get the kids registered for school, no household goods going into storage, and no stress or financial burden. This time, the Carlsons arrived to Washington charged and excited. Red Dot is waiting at their new home with keys in hand. Instead of despair and lost opportunities, they're happy and <laughs> celebrating. The first story ended in them wondering, wishing that there were a better way to find a home. You wanna know what the biggest worry on their mind is now? What's for dinner? They have a bright stay ahead. Just look at those smiling faces. Yes, the monstrous housing dilemma has been defeated thanks to a program that was built just for them. Now, what about the other hundreds of military families just like the Carlsons? What can we do for them? If you're ready to join this operation, I wanna dive deeper into all the details of how this fund works and all the force multipliers that allow us to emerge victorious. You'll want to explore our website, red.incomefund.com, where you'll find a simple to navigate website full of all the important statistics and a handful of short videos that will give you a deeper context into what we're doing here. You'll also find our smart chatbot, which can take you through an interactive journey and get you connected with us here at the command center when you're ready. Most of all, I look forward to a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you. I'd love to get to know you and collaborate on how we can join forces for the success of our mission. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'll see you soon.